Hi, my name is Lisa Solomon and I'm a freelance lawyer. What that means is I help other solo and small firm lawyers with all of their legal research and writing needs. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about a legal concept I call the devils in the details. In legal writing, shorter is generally better. One way to brighten up, to tighten up your briefs and to avoid information overload is to include only the details that are material to your theory of the case. Omitting irrelevant details has the added benefit of allowing the reader to focus on the relevant ones. The reader isn't forced to devote mental energy to uh, sifting through the facts to determine which details are relevant and which aren't. The relevance of a particular detail depends on what's at issue. Sometimes the detail's relevance is obvious. For example, if the issue is whether a personal injury claim arising from a car accident is barred by the statute of limitations, the date of the accident and the date the complaint was filed are relevant details. A detail's irrelevance may also be fairly obvious. For example, in a pedestrian knockdown case involving a driver who swerved to avoid a dog that suddenly darted into the road, it's difficult to imagine a situation in which the dog's breed is relevant to either party. Some details, while not critical, are relevant because they help to paint a picture of the parties or events at issue. For example, while liability in a dog bite case doesn't turn on the dog's breed, the plaintiff will, will more likely mention the breed if the dog is a pit bull or rottweiler than if it's a similarly sized Labrador retriever or standard poodle. Finally, a warning. Your brief must include all relevant details, including ones that favor the other party. If you omit a relevant detail, you'll lose your credibility with the court. Again, my name is Lisa Solomon. I invite you to visit my website at www.questionoflaw.net to see how I can help you.